hope you're all doing well. Um, welcome to my channel, Stitching is Elementary. Thank you for stopping back to visit with me today. Um, and a special thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, this is a channel where I talk about cross stitch and quilting. Um, although I think I'm gonna be doing separate quilting videos and we'll talk about that more later, but welcome. Uh, thanks for checking me out. I did reach uh, a thousand subscribers, so that was super exciting. That kind of snuck up on me because I was so busy with school. I didn't notice, so I will have a giveaway, but I don't have that together yet, so I'll have it for next time. Um, so normally what I do is a little personal update. Um, I'm gonna answer some questions that I got today, and then I'll go through whips and plans and haul and all that good stuff, just like everybody. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so I made some notes here because there were all kinds of different things I had to remember. I didn't want to forget. I always forget something. I'm sure I will, but um, hopefully I'll forget less. So, first of all, um, for personal update, um, I am on summer holiday. Yay! So June 2nd was my last day of school. Actually, June 1st and June 2nd, we worked from home. So my last day in the classroom was the Thursday before, no, the Friday before. Um, so May 28th or whatever it was. Let's look and see. I have a calendar in front of me. Yeah, May 28th was my last um, day in the classroom, and it was nuts. So um, we have we are having our whole school remodeled this summer, which is really exciting. But we had to pack up our rooms completely, put everything in boxes like you're moving, um, take home our personal stuff. So we've been we've known this for a long time. So we've been working on it. But you know, you only can pack up so much in boxes and the kids were still there and the kids was, were still there till Thursday and then we were supposed to have Friday and Tuesday the 1st to finish up. Um, so I get to work on Friday morning and there are 50 million people at our school. Trucks everywhere, workers everywhere, painters everywhere, electricians, people bringing in new air conditioning units. I mean, it was nuts. Like I barely found a place to park. So I'm like, what is going on? Well, apparently there were some wires crossed and our principal didn't realize they were actually planning on starting on Friday. Um, so <laughs> there are all the workers are kind of waiting while we're finishing packing up. I mean, they were doing some, but they couldn't start demoing everything with us there. And we were like, you know, the kids just left yesterday. So, um, so our principal was basically like pack up. If you can get done today, you don't need to come back Tuesday. Um, so we pretty much did. I think some people came back Tuesday and had to finish up, but I got my whole room packed up. Um, but it was quite an exhausting day. So anyhow, um, I am late on my floss tube. I really wanted to come in here and get another one in before June started so I could talk about all my Halloween and June plans. So I'm sorry that I didn't get in here before June began, uh, but it was just crazy. And then we were leaving. So Friday, that was Friday, so I finished packing my room, and then Saturday morning we were heading right over to visit my son in um, Huntsville, Alabama, and we were all going, even the dogs. <laughs> so I'll put some pictures at the end. If you've watched my channel for very long, you know my dogs are, I always talk about how crazy they are, and you'll hear them in the video. Hopefully you won't hear them today, but you probably will. Um, so we were really worried about taking them with us. How are they gonna do in the car? Um, but we are have been afraid to get any kind of a pet sitter because they're so unpredictable and I don't think they would bite anyone but you just never know because they seem terrified of everybody so anyway we decided we were going to take them and our daughters came with us so it was like we put I have a um SUV can't remember the name right now a Buick I can't remember the name anyway it's a Buick and it's a big back um so we put up the third row of seats we put that down and we put up like a barrier that you can buy for dogs off of Amazon it just connects to the back of the seats and so the dogs had that whole area back there with our luggage kind of on the sides and then my girls were right in front of them and then um, my husband and I were in the front and then we switched for a while my daughter ended up being up front my oldest daughter because she gets car sick um, anyway the dogs did really really great I was surprised they basically once we got going and weren't stopping and starting they fell right to sleep they were good there and they were good on the way home. So that was quite a surprise. Um, but anyhow, no time to make a video. <laughs> I even had someone ask, what's this Halloween in June? When's your next video gonna be? And I was like, soon. Um, so anyhow, so today is, I don't think I even said that, today is Saturday, June 5th. 
Um, this probably won't upload till Monday though, uh, the 7th. We'll see, maybe tomorrow. My husband's away on a motorcycle trip today and then tomorrow we're going to a Braves baseball game. So we'll just have to see. Maybe tomorrow night I'll get uploaded. Um, but anyhow, so I'm gonna talk about plans for June and all of that today. What I've been doing and what I plan on doing for the rest of June, so let's see. Um, so yeah, we went to visit um, Isaac and that was fun and the dogs were, like I said, really good. Um, he just got a new house so my husband's kind of helping him fix some things up. We went to uh, Huntsville is big for um, aerospace stuff. So he's an aerospace engineer. That's why he lives there. Um, and they have a space museum. So that's where, as I understand it, um, they set up and all the scientists were to send the first uh, spacecraft to, to the moon. Um, and then they've done stuff since there since then um so anyway i'm not sure we saw all the history i don't remember at all <laughs> but um there, it's all about space stuff there um in huntsville so anyway we went to the space museum and we actually got to see um one of the engineers that worked on the mission to the moon and we got to talk to him so that was really interesting and it was a cool space museum so um I'll, I have some pictures from there as well. I can put it at the end if you care. I don't know if you care, but okay. So that's pretty much personal update. I am on summer break now. I am stitching. I am quilting. Um, oh, so questions now. I did have, um, let me look. So I had a question about how I organize my fabric and it was on my last floss tube, but I'm assuming they mean quilt fabric um, because I think probably see back here because she asked do I wrap it on cardboard so I am gonna do a whole nother quilt video because I've been quilting a lot and I have a ton to show um, and it seemed like last time the quilters really liked that separate quilt video I got a lot of positive feedback on that so I think I'll probably do one of those a month once a month because it you know takes a while to have enough to show for quilting um, but in my next one, which I plan to do here soon, as soon as I get my whole area organized, I will do a kind of tour, they asked for, of my sewing room and how I organize my fabric and everything. Um, so this is how I organized it, but I'm changing it up some. So if you can see around me, oh my gosh, it's like a tornado went through here. I've been pulling everything out. I got some new shells I'm redoing. So as soon as I have it all done, um, I will do a quilt cool update video and show you my finishes and what I'm working on and I'll give you a tour of my little sewing room here. Um, I do love organizing so I tend to do this every summer. I rip everything apart and kind of reorganize it a little bit because it gets such a mess over the school year because I don't have a lot of time. Um, so yeah, so that will be coming here soon. If not this week, by this weekend, um, I will have that up. And then I also had a question um oh about the little pillows that I showed last time um about where to get like a pillow kit I think she was asking I'm not sure about a kit all of mine I've just bought small cross stitch designs and after they're stitched I just use fabric um and stuffing and I sew it into a pillow um there are all kinds of great YouTube tutorials on how to make pillows so I would refer you to Vana the Twisted Stitcher I've learned a lot from her and Lori Holt's videos on making little cross stitch pillows. So I've done both um, their ways. They're very similar. But Vana goes into more detail and has many, many more. Lori Holt has just, I think, the one about how to make the little pillows um, that she has. And I was going to bring those over here to show and I forgot. So if you want to know like what kind of designs are good to stitch for pillows, pretty much any smaller design. Um, Lori Holt has a whole line of... Um, you can I get on here and I can never remember the names of things, but they're, they're little cross stitch designs. You know, what, hold on. I'm going to go grab them. I'll be right back. Um, see, I can never remember everything. <laughs> I thought of this before I started and I then I forgot. So Lori Hold has stitch cards. So Fat Quarter Shop, well, and lots of other places I think sell these, um, but they, I believe Fat Quarter Shop, yeah, produces them. It's, it's so Emma is a Fat Quarter Shop part of their company and they make books and patterns. So it's by It's So Emma and Lori Holt designed them and there's all kinds of different ones. So I think it's set A through H or I by now. 
H and I is just coming out. So this is like a winter one. And these are all little designs. I think they're, yeah, 34 by 34 stitch count. Um, so you can make, you know, depending on what size cross stitch fabric you do it on, you can make just little pillows. So she has, Lori Holt has a video about how to make these into pillows. So they're cute to put a bunch of them into a whole dough bowl. Um, sorry if you hear my dog whining. She wants my attention. Also, if you're wearing earphones, you probably are hearing classical music. I keep that on because it keeps them kind of calm. Um, I notice when I wear earphones, I hear all kinds of background noise that I don't hear normally. So if you hear that, sorry. Hopefully it's not annoying. Um, but anyway, yeah, so all I belong to her stitch card club. So whenever they come out, I automatically get them. Um, but she has tons of different ones. Here's a Halloween one. Here's the gardening one. This is a oh, summer, <laughs> a little dog that reminds me of my dog. And the flat. I mean, they're all cute. So, um, so yeah, so these would be great for making the little pillows. But any cross stitch design that is smaller, I mean, I've even made some bigger ones when I showed that um, potting shed. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty big. Um, but I love to make them into pillows. So that's an idea um, for designs to use for little pillows. But if you just go on one, two, three, stitch, stitch and just look up some smaller designs, you know, the, the one I showed Old Glory um, was either Little House Needleworks or Country Cottage Needleworks, but it was a smaller design. Um, there was also a Halloween one I did, Yield Crow. Oh, but that I framed, I didn't make it into a pillow, but it would be a perfect pillow as well. So that's about pillows. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask below. And I think that was it for questions. Oh, somebody asked me what is Halloween in June? <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about that. Um, so let's see, so I'm gonna start with previous finishes. Um, first I'll show a patriotic one I have. Um, Heather at Country um, Crafty Cottage Stitches was saying she was gonna work on this for their, I think it's their Stars and Stripes Sal. I'll put it below. Um, Bless Our Home, and I was thinking, oh, I had already finished that. So I finished this last year and I framed it. I don't really like how I did it. I really did not know what I was doing. I am still struggling with how to finish things. I'm not big on, the, I love Priscilla's finishes. They're really pretty, but somehow they just don't really fit me. The big bows and all that and like Java Girl stitches, um, finishes stuff is beautiful. I don't know, I just feel weird. I just don't feel like they fit in my house. So I was starting to do that with this one. I was gonna put like a bow and stuff up here, but then I stopped. I may reframe this another way. I had just put it on, this is fabric on a piece of sticky board, and then, you know, I finished that with sticky board, and then I just put it in the back of the frame, but it was too thick, so it kind of broke the back, so I put a new back on cardboard. And so it kind of moves around. It's not perfect. I love the stitch piece. I just have to find a better way to display it, I think. Anyway, um, because I put two dogs in, so for my two girls, um, for Sadie and Hazel, I put them both in. I think in the original pattern there was one dog, and some people have taken the dog out and put a cat in, so whatever your animal is, but I um, put them, and they're their colors, so Sadie's like a, like a caramel color, and Hazel's like a chocolate lab, um, and so what I did is I just took the dog they gave in the pattern, and I flipped it on a sunny window, and I just... Um, got the pattern that way to get to reverse it so yeah bless our home so I really love the stitch design I just need to figure out a better way to frame it so that's one and then I thought since it's Halloween in June I would show you some of my Halloween finishes from last year so I had gotten a Halloween tree last year um, and so I wanted to fill it up with ornaments and I had bought tons of patterns for ornaments but I only got two done <laughs> So this was actually from a cross stitch magazine, I think. This little cat. That's a lot of black stitches. He's teeny, but that took a while. And then this was a Mill Hill kit that I made into a little ornament. Also a lot of stitches. Those came out cute. Um, and then I bought pretty much all of the Stitching with the Housewives Halloween ornament patterns from last year. Um, and I'll talk about the, that in a little bit. I never stitched them last year, but I am stitching them now. So we'll talk about that in uh, um, whips and plants. And then I also had made a little pillow. This is a shepherd's bush. 
I think it's Halloween trifles is the pattern. It comes with like four different designs and it has, there's these little buttons you can get from just another button company that go with it. And that's just on Ada. That's so cute. And I did do the ruched edging, which I don't know that I'll ever do again, maybe. <laughs> and then I did like Lori Holchel's um, on the back here, the pillow finish. And then this is my favorite mice. You know how I'm doing the mice in the sewing room. I said I was going to start for um, Mania. Well, this was the Halloween version, and I don't remember the name of it, but I made it into a pillow. So see, this is a little bigger design, but you can still make it into a pillow. I think it's so cute. It's on a fabric I dyed myself. It's Ada also. Because mm -hmm. when I started, I just did Ada because I didn't know, you know about all the other ones. But And then here's the back. So see, I just stopped. I still didn't totally finish the back. I just whip stitch to close. I added this little kind of ribbon handle so I can hang it on a door or I can sit it in a dough bowl. So yeah, those are my Halloween finishes from last year. So let's get on to whips. Um, so I think first I'm going to go through what I've been working on since my last video and then I'll get into the Halloween whips. I don't know if you've ever heard of these. These are called corksicle cups. Corksicle. I can link them below also. My daughter got me one for Mother's Day. Sadie, quiet. No, shh, shh. Come here, come here. Oh, what she wants is she's whining. Um, from Rifle Paper Company. But you, Corksicle, I think, has a website like that. They keep stuff so, so cold. Like, I can put water and ice in this and it stays ice cold the entire day. The, they don't sweat. They're like the best cups I have ever seen. I need to get some more of them. So anyway, I guess people, they have wine ones too, so you can keep your wine in to keep it cold. But it's awesome, and I just splashed water on my glasses. Okay, so let's get to what I've been working on. So I'm going to flip back to May. So I had a couple new starts, I think, since my last video. I went back and watched it, and I didn't show these. So um, I must have started them new. So I'll get to those next. I'll just show what I was working on for Mania. Now I said I was going to start a new sewing and a new bee pattern each week of Mania. I did not. <laughs> School got to me. So um, I'll show you what I did do. I did work on sewing and bee theme, just not the plan I originally had. Oh, please. I had a new one that I started. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So first of all, I had said I was going to start mice in this sewing room, and I or I did, and I got the ruler done. Well, I got a little bit more done on that. Here is what it looks like. It's by Brenda Gervais. So last time I had the ruler done, this time I just got some of the, the um, thread spool done. Yeah, I feel like the light is not fabulous. I never can decide what lights I should have on. Like I have an, a light above me and a light behind me, um, but I feel like last time when I watched the video back, there were some things that were hard to see. All right, there you go. There you can see it. So yeah, it just is a lot of white stitching. So I'm just working on the spool of thread. But I did not work on this a lot. But it's a start. So you see there's a bunch more to do on that. But I did work a little bit on that. And then I did, and I showed my flosses for that in the last one, but it's pretty much just like the called for. They're not the exact ones, but they look just like them. Um, I was working on that B Virtues. Um, pattern and I worked some more on that. So this one by Country Cottage Needleworks and this was the one that was on 40 count but I decided to keep going and as long as I sometimes I don't need my mag magnifier it's weird like your eyes will adjust and I can do it without it but then a few minutes later I'll need it so I don't know it's weird but I got the beehive done. And I did mess up a little on this side. I made this side one stitch longer than it was supposed to be. So it looks a little wonky. So 
I have that top part done with the flowers. I have to add the bees in and this. So now I'm going to go to the words and then I'll finish down there. So that shouldn't take too long once I get back to working on it. And then I have been working on that tomato one, even though that wasn't bee or sewing themed, but I haven't worked on that anymore. And then I pulled back out um, Sew by Row and worked on that a bunch um, because it is great to work on in the car. So I worked on it when we went to Isaac's as well. So and this was a stitch along a while ago, but it's finished. So I have been working on this row and I finished that row up. show you my table's a mess I have nowhere to move everything okay so here is what I have done so I finished the whole row of stars even the centers and then I wanted to see how long it was because I have a frame that I think might fit it so I did I finished this iron and look at that cute little back stitched um, cord oh my gosh it's adorable and then I started this one and then I did a little bit. These are the spools of thread, just the brown part. And then I was going down here. This is the stack of fabric, just the middle part there. I just want to see how long it's going to be. So that's, this is the bottom of it. Um, so I have to try it out in the frame I have. So I would like to finish this in June. So when I'm not working on Halloween, I plan on working on this and finishing it up so I can get it hung up. And then I started one other one, which technically wasn't bees or sewing, but I did realize it had a few bees in it. But I had talked about it last time, and I really wanted to start it, so I did. This way. So I've been talking about the Country Cottage Unework Samplers of the Month. Um, so I started Maze, because Maze had little bees in it, so I figured it kind of fit my theme. Now, there's always a problem with floss or fabric. I'm never sure if I like things. So anyway, here's the pattern. It's Country Cottage Needleworks May Sampler. Let me take this out. And there's all these little bees down here and a little beehive. Um, but the little bees are with white and the name is in white. Well, I changed my fabric because my whole family room is gray, so I thought it would be really pretty to do on this gray and white check. I didn't think about the fact that the white's not gonna show up well. So I even tried B5200, the DMC really bright white, and that's what I ended up using, um, but it's still hard to see. I mean, I can see it in person. You're probably not gonna be able to see it on the video. So I kind of stopped now because I'm not sure, but I, mean, I think I do like it, so I don't know. But here's what I have done on that. I mean, I think it's really cute on there. Um, but I just have to decide if I can live without white not showing up great. I don't know. I think I'm probably okay with it. But I'm going to do them all on this then. So I just have to be sure that I'm good with that. Now the words are in white. I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll change the words like from the month of May you see is in white. I think I'm going to change that to a different color. Either maybe the pink or the blue would be pretty. Yeah, but I got a lot done. That was really fun to work on. This is 32 count, um, I don't know if it's Lugana or linen. It feels like Lugana. I got this at Hobby Lobby, but they only sell it in little packages, so I think Fat Quarter Shop also sells it in a bigger amount. And here are the flosses. For that, it's the called four colors. So that was pretty much all of my bee sewing theme. That's as far as I got. <laughs> so. I didn't start the other ones I thought I might. Someday they will all be done. Um, so that was pretty much my mania. That's what I finished for that. And then I was going to go through, um, I'm going to finish with other things because I just started a few other things that I just wanted to. Um, but then I'm going to go through my Halloween whips. Okay, so just a couple. Let's see. Yeah, just two other things before we get to the Halloween. Okay, so. I've been watching um, the Hands Across the Sea floss tube and really kind of getting into the reproduction samplers. So I've been watching Brenda and Laura a lot 
and I just love all the samplers they show. So I got this pattern, and I thought I had talked about this, but then when I watched my video, unless I missed it, um, I didn't. So this is called Tom's Foolery My Hands Across the Sea, and I just loved all the colors. And they think it was done by a kid, which I you know, relate to because I teach little first graders. And I could totally imagine them drawing a picture like this, not stitching one at their, <laughs> their age. You know, I was teaching my girls to cross stitch, but they were still struggling by the end of the year. They couldn't get that going up through the back and then back down through. Whenever they came, so they went down through the front, and whenever they, instead of coming back out through the back, they wanted to come around, and they'd all get these loops on all of their cross stitch stuff. Anyway, um, because we were using plastic canvas, so it was kind of confusing for them. Um, but yeah, so I started this. This is going to take forever. There's a lot in there. Um, and it's just a PDF download. But here is my progress. Well, first of all, here are all the DMCs. I didn't even get them on thread drops yet because I had run out. But oh, look at those gorgeous colors. So I don't have much done, but I have a little bit. So this is a cream 28 count Zweigart, I believe. And here is my little start on that. Just starting to fill in the colors there. So not a lot, but it's really fun to work on. Especially on the 28 count because it's so easy to see. So that was a new start. And then, no, I've talked about this, but anyway, this was a fairly new start as well. Um, land that I love. And I say it like that because in my, when I went back and watched the video, I don't remember seeing me talk about it, but Land that I love by Teresa Kogut. And once again, I don't even have, yeah, I have some of them on floss drops, but I'm using all the called for colors. She calls for DMC and hand dyed. So, oh, look at that mess. There's all the DMC. <laughs> and I'm doing it on the called for fabric. Yeah, 30 count tin roof linen. So it's this dark linen, which I've never stitched on before, but it's really pretty. So here is where I am on that. I was actually going to work on this on the way over to Isaac's and while we were there. Um, so I took it along, but I forgot my reading glasses, so that wasn't happening. I can see the 25 count Lugano with just my normal glasses, but this I could not. So yeah, I really like it. So I'd like to work on that some more this month. We'll see. I like, the other day I did this, and I've thought about it before, but I've never really done it, but just to set the, like I set the timer on Alexa, and I just work for that amount of time on one project, and then I'll pull out another project and set the timer for like 30 minutes and work at that amount of time on it. And then, so the other day I did like four different projects for 30 minutes, and that was kind of fun. So I might try to do that more this summer. It just, otherwise, if I don't set the timer, we want to do sometimes, I won't stop, I'll just keep going. Um, but I was really trying to get some threads in on all on a bunch of different projects. So that's what I did. Um, this is in a bag by the Fat Quarter Shop for their sail away stitch along. Um, but I just really like the bag. So I got that. That's in there. All right. So that was my other new start. And that is it. And so now we're into Halloween whips. Okay. So my first one um, is actually one I just started. Um, for cross stitch camps. So I don't know if you've heard about this. Um, Colorado Cross Stitcher here on YouTube and on Instagram started a cross stitch camp. And I was seeing about it on Instagram. And I had not um, subscribed to her YouTube channel yet. I hadn't seen it. I was followed her on, on Instagram, but I didn't realize she had a YouTube. But anyway, she does. And so in episode 12, she tells you all about cross stitch camp. And it's basically for June, July, and August, there's going to be a different challenge for each month and you post what you're going to work on for that challenge on Instagram and then she keeps track of it and if you f you start a new project and if you finish it by the end of the month um, you get put in for prizes or whatever but you have to start at the beginning of the month and finish it by the end it can't be a previous whip um, and she talks all about that so I decided um, I had wanted to make those Stitching with the Housewives Halloween ornaments um, from last year that I got. So I thought I'm gonna start that. So that'll be my one for June. So the first one I started was Spooky Haunts. Well, I posted this on Instagram and I thought I'm just, you know, if you follow me, so I'm just gonna do, you know, this one for June and maybe I'll do another one for July. Well, 
I didn't realize how small they are and how quick they are. So I kind of updated it. I'm going to try to do one a week for June. So I'll have four done at the end of June. So that'll be really nice. And then I can fully finish them and have them up for Halloween on my Halloween tree. So this is the first one I started. Spooky Haunts. And I'm just about done. I started this on Wednesday. And I've worked on other stuff. Or I would be done. Um, this is on a 28 count Lugana. And there's my progress. So I just have to finish. Whoops. I have to finish the haunted house up here and then there's a moon. Yeah, there's going to be a moon, a big yellow moon over here. So I think it's so cute. So, you know, they do it on black. I'm doing it on this color. This is actually um, a Lugana from Giribaldi Needleworks. I had ordered it a long time ago when it was hard to get fabric. I found them online. I don't know if any of you've ever heard of them. I have not. Um, and they call this Brittany Lugana, but it's basically, it's just a little oranger than a vintage country mocha. I mean, this would look awesome on vintage country mocha. I just happened to have this, so I thought I was going to use it. Um, so yeah, so I have this whole big piece. I'm just going to keep doing them all in here, and hopefully by the end of June, I'll have four done. She has a bunch. She has more than four, a bunch of different patterns. And I'm using the call for floss. Here's my messy floss ring. All classic color works. Um, yeah, so that was my cross stitch camp and my Halloween in June. So the idea with Halloween in June is, you know, they do Christmas in July. Well, if you've watched me for a while, you know, I love Halloween. I love Christmas too, but I really love Halloween. Um, so I'm going to do all Halloween quilting and cross stitching in uh, June some other too because I'm home now all day long. My first day home, like I must have stitched. I got up, had my coffee and stitched for like three or four hours. It was so wonderful. But anyway, so that's my first thing. And then so my plan was I'm just going to work on all my Halloween whips in June. If I finish one of them, I will start a new one. So not unless I finish one. That's my only rule. Will I start a new one? I have some new ones in here I want to start, but I have to finish. So this is almost close to finish. But then I'm starting a new one of those. So I think I'm going to go through my Halloween mix and then I'll just kind of show my other um, plans. Oh, you know what? Wait a second. I forgot another one I started and then I did work on it a little bit before I get to plans. Yeah. Let me show you this. So um, I've been wanting to start this one for a long time. It is Blackbird Designs. Um, strawberry sampler book, but this one is called the bee skip. Real quick, I'll show you all that. But the bee skip, and there's a picture of it right there. Finished. I'm using all the called for threads. I'm doing it on 30 count um, cream fabric. It is a Nikki's Creations uh, linen. So I got a fair amount done. Last time, all I had were just some of the words done. At the bottom. Let's see if I can get a board to put this on. I was organizing and I put all my boards over there, so I can't grab one quick. So I think. Let's see. Oh, I have one here. Oh, I'm one. Okay, so last time I had just had the borders, part of the borders done, and part of the words done. So now I've got this little basket or pot and then I'm working on the house so this is really fun to work on I got a good bit done I'll probably put that away for now a while now although this weekend is um, Brenda and Laura you know started that hashtag where the first weekend in the month you work on Blackbird Designs I think it's hashtag BBD designs weekend or something like that I'll put it down below so I could work on this this weekend for that just a little bit because I'm going to mostly work on Halloween. Um, but I think I'm also going to pull out my anniversaries of the heart. Remember that? I haven't worked on that in ages. So I think I might pull that out and work on it also. I am at the exact same point. I'm still finishing March. Me, who was going to do one a month. I just don't feel like working on it. I've lost my desire. So it hasn't come out. But I'm going to try to at least put a few stitches in on that. At least something is better than nothing, right? 
All right, so now let's get to Halloween. Okay, so um, I have a little bit of ton of whips. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. It looks like seven Halloween whips. Um, so the first one that I have been working on throughout the year here on um, Dark 13 stitching and at the end of the month on the 30th and 31st is my Salem 1692 by Roveris. Lovingly known as just my witches. I say my witches. I always forget the name of it. But it's just silhouettes of um, the Salem witches. So this is done in two colors. The girls I'm doing in DMC black, 310. But the outlines I'm doing in carriage black. Um, oh yeah. So the gentle art carriage black. Um, so here is my progress. This is on 18 count. Picture this plus ale. I think at one time I had said 16 count, but it is 18 count. And I remember that because I was going to do just one strand of black. And when I tried it, it just seemed too light. So I went to two strands, but it's thick pulling the two strands through. But there, I'm getting really close. I'm doing all the frames first. So I just have three more frames. These two here and then one down below. And then I can start on the girls. And then the words, all right? Let's see. Yeah. So I'll finish these frames and then I'll do all the silhouettes. And then there's the words that say there's a crow and then it's a Salem 1692 and another crow. Yes. I love that one. I want to find a really cool vintage like black um, frame to put that in when it's done. And I was inspired to start this one by, um, Oh my goodness, flying out of my head. Let me think about it. Another floss tuber, which I was thinking about before I started, and now that I've started, I can't remember her name. Um, Gable Stitcher, yeesh. So if you haven't checked out Gable Stitcher, check her out. She has great, tons of great projects. She stitches so much. Um, she gets so much done. But anyway, Gable Stitcher had shown this last year in one of her videos, and I was like, immediately, I have to do that one, because I, Love all things witchy, cute witchy, not creepy or scary, but. So I'm gonna work on that. Now here are my other whips. I have no order in which I'm gonna work on these. We'll just see um, as I get things done. So I had started this um, from the Fat Porter shop last year. It is their Fright Night. And I did not get much done. Well, I mean, I guess I got a fair amount, but nowhere near being done. So here's my progress on that. That haunted house is a lot. And this is Picture This Plus Flapper. I love it, it's such a pretty purple. Mm -hmm. So there's lots more. I don't even remember how much more. I have to finish the house and there's other stuff. I only have, I don't have all the parts printed out so I don't even remember what else there is. And they had had a floss pack for that so it's just uh, their Weeks Dye Works floss, floss pack. It's all just whites, oranges, and blacks. So hopefully I will get to work on that. Let's see what's next. Oh, this one I started so long ago. Well, no, I've only been stitching, I guess it'll be two years this October. So not so long ago, but I haven't touched it in a long time. And I do love it. I don't know why, I just haven't. It's Halloween Quaker by, I always said Lila's, but apparently it's Leela's, I think. Um, um, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world said she had asked her, and it's I think it's Leela. Um, but anyway, she has beautiful designs. So this was when I had first started stitching. This was my first mania last year, and so or the year before. Now I'm starting to lose track. So I did it on uh, Ada. I dyed myself, and this is all I have done. <laughs> but it's gonna be pretty when it's all done. So hopefully I'll get some stitches in on that one. It is so cute. And it's neat too, because you could just get this pattern and if you didn't want to do it all, you could like pull out this little town at the bottom and just do that as a pillow. You could just do the witch in the moon as a pillow. So there's lots of things if you don't want to stitch the whole thing that you could do. If you're looking for Halloween stitching to do. 
I know not everybody's into Halloween. Some people just like fall. I am into Halloween. I think it's because my mom was, and Halloween was always such a super fun time. She always made my costumes, just really nice memories um, from when I was little. And we always have little like Halloween parties. Well, I don't know about always, but I remember a couple Halloween parties we had. And um, I remember especially, sorry, I'm going to go off on a tangent here. She had made me a princess um, costume. I don't know, Mom, if you're watching, she watches my floss too. Do you remember the pink one with the little red, like, glitter trim? And then I had this little crown, and I remember making a wand, and it was just like I cut a star out, or she cut, I don't remember, out of cardboard, and we did red glitter on it, and I had it on a little stick that we put ribbon around. That is, like, such an awesome memory. I loved that little costume. <clears throat> and at that time, we could dress up in school, and so I dressed up at school in it, and it was just fun. So anyway, just happy memories. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Hmm, some of these I have not touched in so long. I don't even remember what they are. Oh, this one is so cute. See, I want to finish this so bad as well. So this is Bobbing for Pumpkins by Brenda Gervais. And um, Priscilla and Chelsea at Stitching with the Housewives. Priscilla finished this and then she had she finished it. And I'm going to copy her on this one because I have it. On this like witch, um, I think it was a witch's broom. Like wall, like wood wall hanging you get from Michaels, you know, just their decor. But she took off the bottom part of it and she put this on, um, you know, all finished. It's really cute. So yeah, and here are the flosses. I believe these are pretty much all the called for, unless it didn't go with the fabric. Then I just changed it a little bit. Oh, what a mess! <laughs> um, a lot of closet color works, weeks dye works, and a few gentle arts. But they are called for. So this is also on Picture This Plus Ada. And it's really wrinkled. And all I have done is one little witch. And the floss fell out of the needle. <laughs> but isn't she adorable? Oh, sorry for the wrinkles. Yeesh. Look at the little polka dots in her skirt. Oh my gosh. Adorable. So, another whip I want to get back to. And I'm not making really any rules other than I'm not going to start another one until I finish. I might work on one a week. I might work on a few during the day, on one day. Like, who knows? Because obviously with the mania, I didn't follow my own rules. So we're not going to make rules. Now, this is a set I really want to get going on. Um, Little Yellow House Crafts um, is doing these. And she's doing them on different color fabrics. But every time I see her, I'm like, oh, I need to get back to that. So I want to do the whole series, The Scary Apothecary by Hands on Design. Nell, I think that's her name. Little Yellow House Crafts, her name is Nell. Um, I love watching her videos. She's real positive and just bubbly. Anyway, so she's doing them on, I think, like pastel colors. So like a pastel purple, if I'm remembering right, a pastel yellow, a pastel orange, a pastel green. And she's kind of alternating them on, and doing them on those same four fabrics, if I remember correctly. I'm doing them on um, a white. It is, I don't remember the name. Oh yeah, here we go. 32 count vintage smoky white Belfast. So I'm gonna do them all on that. And here is my very small start, although this was a lot of work. This one was hard not to stitch because you, the, the, the negative of the design are the words. So it says cauldron cleaner, and then you put that in in gray, but I was doing all the orange first, and then I'm going to go back and add the gray in, but I had to be really careful that I didn't um, stitch where the words were supposed to be. And this was one of my first times doing linen, too, so I probably should have done the words first. I don't know. If you've done any of these, tell me. Is it easier to do the words first? Um, because this was hard. <laughs> So what I did is I made a working copy of the charts on the back here, so I just made a copy of it and I highlighted as I did it all to help me not go where the words are supposed to be. I think the reason I did that was because I felt like I had to start at the edge because I couldn't figure out how to count in. Now I think I could do that. As I'm looking, I'm like, why didn't I just count in and do the words first? You know, but when you're new, you don't know. Um, I did change the colors up a little bit. I made them a little brighter. Yikes. So I am using Victorian Motto Sunspots for the orange. Pretty bright 
Halloweeny orange. Um, <laughs> Victorian Motto Country Lime for the green. I love how those two are together. And then I think this is the called for, yeah, the black was Zach Black, and I'm using that. And then River Rocks is the gray. Yeah. And that's called for. And then uh, Shamrock, which surprised me, but classic color where it's actually like an aqua, really. Shamrock was called for. Mm -hmm. And then this purple Krennic, Krennic braid is the purple in it. So basically, oh, and boysenberry jam you do back stitching with. I didn't realize that. I didn't pull that out yet. Um, so basically, I just changed the green and the orange. But everything else is the same. So pretty fun colors. I think there's like nine or ten of these. I don't remember exactly, but as with all of them, I would, oh yeah, here's my real quick working copy, and I just kind of highlighted as I went along. Um, I would love to get back to that one. Two more. Oh, I lied. Nope. One more that's an actual whip, and it's just a very recent start whip. And the other two are plans if I finish any of these. Okay, so look at the threads for this one. Let's see if you can guess what it is. Holy moly, that is a lot of threads. All DMC. So this was for my Hawk Run Hollow Club that I go to. Um, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Sampling. This is a long-term project. So I am doing it on purple. And I've talked about this before. But it's Highland Heather um, by Fabrics by Stephanie. And all I have done, well, I don't even have done, is I just started the border for the first block. That's it. I haven't worked on it since that day we went to. I went to meet with, there's a, a Hawk Run Hollow stitching group that meets around here. So I went for the first time and met with them in April. And then when they met in May, I was at Isaac, so I couldn't get that one. And I just worked on it while I was there, and I didn't have my light, so it was hard to see, so I didn't get much done. But it's technically a whip. So those are all my Halloween whips. Not too bad. Um, but also ridiculous at the same time. <laughs> so as I finish one of those, I will start something new. So here is the first of what I plan to start. Um, Well, okay, so this one is kind of a whip, but I'm going to redo it. So, yeah, I lied again. So, I did start this last year for um, Sampler September because I thought it's Halloween, but it's also a sampler. Jack's Bash by Plum, Plum Street Samplers. And I started with a call for DMC on Linen by Witchelt, which I talked about before, I do not like. It is stiff and very thin. And it's like Kimberly Fat Quarter Shop loves it. She does so much on that because she likes it stiff. Which it is easier, I suppose, to see the holes. It definitely is easier to see the holes. So if you want to try linen but it's you have a hard time seeing the holes, this is great for that. I just don't like how stiff it is. I like softer. Um, and I don't like how kind of see-through. It's just not very thick. So anyway. So I started it, but I was still going to use it. Here's my little star in the bottom. That was a lot of stitches. And then I saw somebody who did it with a hand dye conversion. I think it was Emily C did that. And then Stitching by the Moon, Michelle on Instagram. If you check out her Instagram, she has one and I think it was a Shepherd's Bush conversion and they add in some purple. So I was like, mm, I'm redoing it. I already had thought I wanted to redo it because I didn't like this, but I didn't know to what. I am totally doing that hand dyed conversion. So I think I'm just going to look at hers and try to do it myself, pick the flosses because I have so many. But if not, I'll, I'll call Shepherd's Bush and see if they can give me the flosses for that. So that is going to be a new restart. Um, and I'm going to do it on, I know I had talked about this before, and I got it from Kitten Stitcher. More of that um, fiber on a whim parchment. Here it is. It's such a cool color for that one. It's like a greeny neutral. It's just got a green cast to it. This is what I was doing that tomato one on. So I think it'll be beautiful on there. So I am going to restart it on that one. Sometime, I don't know why. Okay, 
Okay, so that's a possibility. And then this one I definitely want to start, for, I would like to have done for this year. Um, Brenda Gervais, Hilda Booze and Sunflower 2. But I had seen Java Girl Stitches did this on Vintage, vintage Country Mocha, I believe. It looked like Vintage Country Mocha last year, 25 count, and it was really big. And she finished it, and I think she put it on like a pumpkin. I loved it, so I'm totally going to copy her. So I would love to do that and get that done for this year. So not going to do it on the purple. I loved it on her, so if you haven't seen hers, go check it out. So I'm going to do it on this 25 count Vintage Country Mocha Lugana. And I measured the big enough piece. Um, I haven't even pulled the threads, but if I get one of these done, that's going to be a start. Definitely. And then the other one I definitely want to start because I need to send the pattern back. I had, um, this is an old Lizzie Kate, uh, very scary mystery sampler. So it just looks like this is the pattern one. This is pattern two. And this is part three. So I had a lovely viewer lend this to me, but I still haven't started it. I want to send it back to her, so I definitely need to get that started. I'm going to do that part three first um, and send it back to her. But it's just a cute little sampler. I really like it. So you can see it's totally finished in that picture. Love it. So those are my whips and plans for the month of June as far as cross-stitch goes. Um, for quilting, I will talk about in my other quilt video, but I'll just tell you real quick. Um, I had mentioned it before. I'm going to be sewing along with um, Jeanette and Heather from Crafty Cottage Stitches here on YouTube. And um, Nancy from Nancy Woolsey on um, YouTube. And her Instagram is So Cozy Stitching. So they're both doing a quilt along um, for the... Thimble Blossoms Ville quilt. So it could be Springville, Winterville, Autumnville, or Summerville you could do. I'm doing Autumnville, but I'm doing it spooky, so I'm calling it Spookyville. <laughs> I'm doing it with Halloween fabrics. So like here are all my fabrics. I started cutting them out. It is Bunny Hill Designs Spooky Delight. Oh, I can't believe I remember that. But here are just a bunch of them. They're all piled because I already started cutting. So I am doing it just like the pattern. I just changed up the colors of fabric because I'm doing it Halloween colors and I'm just doing a little tone on tone white for the background. Um, yeah, so that I want to get cut out here very soon. I've been putting it off. I have got it all ready. I even cut out some of it and started sewing, but um, I want to finish up my strawberry swoon and I'm not done with that yet, but I've gotten about half of it done because then there's a Halloween swoon I want to make but I will talk about all that in my quilt update video. Um, so while we were in Huntsville, um, we went to a cross-stitch quilt shop I had heard about there called Patches and Stitches, and I did some damage. So I just bought every pattern I saw. They had so many like older patterns that, not old necessarily, but patterns I've looked at online. I'm like, oh, I like that. I want to get that someday. So I like got a ton of them. In no particular order, we'll just start Blackbird Designs, Bittersweet September. These little, I think they were called Merit Pink Peeps. Um, so there's a bunch I've wanted. There's that one. And then um, Reward of Merit Pink Peeps, Patchwork Pumpkin, which I just saw somebody working on this on Instagram today. Oh my gosh, the lighting. There you go. Um, I got this for Greta because she would like me to make this for her house, my daughter Greta. Lizzie Kate Summer Sampler. And then I went on one, two, three stitch and got all the other ones which are coming um, so I can make her them for all year. And I'll probably make them for me too. This I've looked at before. It's so cute. Birds of a Feather Halloween Icons. So there's another idea for Halloween. And it came with a fabric, which is cool. Put that in my Halloween basket. <laughs> This one, because I did the Strawberry House, I really wanted this. Um, Country Cottage Needleworks Geranium House. Jeanette, did you know about this one? I know Jeanette um, loves geraniums. So there's that one. And then Hands on Design Stitching is My Heart's Desire. It's a little pillow scissor holder kind of thing. And I've been looking at this one, and so I had to get it since I had it. Uh, Sweet Summer Come Again by Blackbird Designs. 
So for our strawberry social, I will definitely be stitching strawberries again next summer. <clears throat> and then this one, <clears throat> I have not seen many places. I don't know if it's still available or not, but I really loved it. Blackbird Designs Liberty House. So I thought for some Blackbird weekend I could start that. And then um, this one I've looked at a couple times and put it back and I just decided to get it this time. It's Little House Needleworks The Family Sampler. So you stitch it and you make your family in it and you put your name on it. That was really cute. Um, another hands-on design, another strawberry. It's Stitch Over 2 all the day through. Really cute. And then <clears throat> this one I've seen so many people stitch, but I actually had never read what it says. It's um, Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. And, you know, I've seen this all over. But it says, Away We Ride Till It's Dark As Pitch To Find the Home of the Wicked Witch. So when I read it, I was like, oh, I have to have that. Love that. Um, okay, so that's all the Halloween. And then these I've seen online a lot, and I just think they're adorable. I don't know when I'll stitch them, but someday for my sewing room in here. It's um, Trella La Collections, and this, I can't read it even though I took French. So, no, I'm not even going to try, but it's these little mice with um, bobbins of thread. Yeah, I wonder if having the light right there is not good. So there we go. So hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> and then this one um, is a little mouse in her sewing room and it has a little alphabet. So cute. <clears throat> And then uh, Kimberly the Fat Quarter Shop, I've been stitching this, and I just love this. So more sewing theme patterns, so blessed. All the pretty pink thread. And I had to have this one. I have um, Cross Stitch Nation, which I'm stitching but haven't finished. Um, this is Floss Tube Friends. So, it's so cute. Um, and then my kids were with me, you know, so my oldest daughter was in there and <clears throat> I had talked about making stockings for her and her fiance and she found some that she liked. So oh, when I look at these, I'm like, this is so much stitching. But I actually ordered the fabric from 123 Stitch too because I thought I have got to start these right away because if I don't get started, I'm going to continue to be overwhelmed by the thought of doing them and I may never start them. <laughs> so for her, she loves nutcrackers. So this is Stony Creek Nutcracker. And then for her fiance, he loves like classic Santa Christmas. He loves Christmas. Um, and they didn't have any stockings last year. They won't be done by this year. I would love that, but there's no way. <laughs> but hopefully by, the, you know, in a year from this year. This is Dash Away All. This is over one on 28 count, which I know isn't horrible, but for the whole thing, yikes. So I'm going to get started. We'll see how it goes. So that's everything I got from there. And then I just got a couple of things from Fat Quarter Shop um, this week. Um, I have been wanting this red, white, and bloom pattern by Brenda Gervais, which you've seen, I'm sure. And so to stitch that on, I got, uh, Lori Holt came out with a new color of 25 Count Lugana. It is Heritage, so I thought that would be perfect for it. So I'm going to stitch those on that someday. And then I have been wanting this book, The Ultimate Sampler Motif Source Book. Um, this is by Brenda Keys and it just has all these different sampler designs. And I can't show you because it's all chart, but oh my gosh, is this worth the price of this book? I think it's like $21, but it has got like, you could design your whole own sampler from this. I mean, it's crazy. It's got everything in it. It's even got alphabets in the back. It's got all the people, all the trees, all the houses. It's super cool. So definitely a great resource. If you haven't seen it yet, it's definitely worth it, I think. Um, so that is my haul. Now, I have a boatload of Halloween patterns. It would take forever to sit here and show you those. So I am not going to do that. If you're interested in seeing um, a bunch of different Halloween patterns, seeing some of my haul for Halloween, comment below and let me know and I could do a separate video 
Um, I think I had done that at Christmas and showed a whole bunch of Christmas patterns, but if nobody's interested, then it's not necessary because I, I have literally a whole drawer full um, because I love Halloween so much of patterns. Um, so just let me know in the comments below if you'd like that. So other than that, I am done. That phone call was from my daughter, Greta. Um, she's having panicking over some wedding stuff or just not sure about what to do for some things. So I'm going to need to call her back. So I'm going to finish up here. Um, I will have a quilt update video coming with a sewing room tour. Um, if you have any questions about anything, just leave the comments below. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you would like and subscribe the video, it's the red button below for subscribing. Um, and I will be having a giveaway in my next floss tube update uh, for my thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, I just have to figure out what to give away. <laughs> I had an idea about making something um, for one of it, one of the giveaways. So anyway, I hope you all have a lovely, um, let's see, you're probably watching this on Monday, so a lovely week coming up. If I get it uploaded tomorrow, a lovely rest of your weekend. Um, and that's about it. So happy stitching. Bye.